getting battered for the last few moments here of this match. AW Dynamite back live on TBS, and as expected, John Moxley bringing the violence against Jeff Hardy, and that's Excalibur's pen, folks. He took it during the break from Excalibur, and he's sticking it in his ear. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, earlobe city. That is a that is a oh. ballpoint pen that is being stuck into the earlobe of Jeff Hardy and twisting the earlobe, but Hardy. Escapes out and Moxley. Oh, oh. Moxley hit hard that time on the steel turnbuckle. Yeah, I think he came down awkwardly on his shoulder. And Jeff Hardy just a leaping drop kick off the apron. Shivani, you know the deal. That's Jeff Hardy, ever resilient. Sure. Just when you think you got him. And Moxley looking to retreat to the relative safety of the ring, trying to stay out of Jeff Hardy's grip. But Hardy, oh, near the midsection. Two of them. Moxley looking to cut Hardy off. This is with a lariat, but Hardy connects with the Manhattan drop. The leg swept down. Oh! The leg drop. Moxley tried to cover up, but I think that caught him flush, Taz. Yeah, I definitely think it did. And you can see the momentum is building here for Jeff. Hardy, the leg is hooked. Moxley kicks out. There you go. For Jeff Hardy, keep John Moxley on the mat. Keep him on the mat because I'm telling you, as great as Jeff Hardy is, I don't think he can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with John Mox in a slugging contest, Taz. Yeah, I know you might be right about that, but the thing is, Mox is so well-versed in submission. Look at his elbows now. Viciousness, Shivani. Incredible. What's he got in mind? Maybe pile drop. Oh, oh yeah, sure oh, thing. That was perfectly executed. You might get it here. The leg is hooked in. Hardy kicking out. Usually it takes a while to set up a pile driver. Mox did that quick and hit that stump pile driver really, really well. And fans, we talked about Revolution. How about this? The fallout from Revolution happens as we return to Duluth, Georgia, Wednesday, March 6th, Thursday, March 7th. Tickets available next Thursday, February 8th, 10 a.m. Eastern, AWTIX.com. We feel the fallout from Revolution. Jeff Hardy may be feeling the fallout from a pile driver on the ring apron here. For our fans in the metro Atlanta area and Gwinnett County, the Gas South Arena. Might be going gosh style pile driver, but Jeff Hardy realizes it and shutting down and stopping Moxley. Yeah, big body shots by Jeff Hardy now. Oh, twist of fate on the apron. Looked like Moxley tried to grab onto the ropes on the way down, Taz. Yeah, and that could slow down your landing which was smart. He realized, Mox did. He realized, listen, Mox has put a heavy dose of offense on Jeff. He's got the advantage, but Jeff Hardy, as I said earlier, he's got momentum cooking here. Jeff Hardy! Oh, coming down! Him right in the head. On Moxley's upper body. Now the deep cover, and Moxley able to kick out. Wow. Hardy almost got a win, guys. Well, watch this landing here, right on the face and head and neck area. There's another angle of it right here, guys. Look at this. You see Moxley tried to get the hands up at the last possible moment, but Jeff Hardy was just flying in. And now Hardy... Oh, drop kick into the corner, driving the soles of both boots into the lungs of John Moxley. Now, I can tell you from experience, I've been in the ring with Jeff Hardy. He's unpredictable. He's quick. to hit you out of nowhere with something. He's dangerous. No, but Moxley springs right up and fires in a big elbow strike. A lot of back. Pulling up that shirt, nails in the back. And the super flex. Rough Can landing. He Can he follow up? A rough landing for both men. Taz Moxley could have an issue with that lower back. Yeah, when you hit a super flex, you're landing hard. You can land different every time you do that throw to someone. So he's definitely, Mox is definitely feeling it, hence the slow attempt at a cover. I, I think based on all the uh, punishment that Mox dished out early in the match, I think Jeff Hardy's had quite a comeback here. Well, yeah. Taz, I mean, you know firsthand Jeff Hardy, one of the most resilient competitors to ever step foot in the ring. That's a fact. He really is. Oh, but Hardy, raining out right hands, but to the midsection, twist of fate. No, Moxley spins. Hey! Big cutter from Moxley. That was great. Great job by Mox right there. And Moxley looking paradigm shift. Death Rider perhaps, but instead Jeff Hardy. Russian leg sweep. Rolls through. Oh, he's got him stacked up, guys. Yeah, he does, man. Moxley just... Oh, oh, this, out. oh my God. Oh, 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 Moxley! 
Oh, how did he get out of that? That right shoulder at the last possible moment came off the mat to break up the pinfall attempt. I thought that, I thought that was over for sure. Oof. Hardy hits him with one, two. First one was a stunner, second one was a classic twist of fate. Oh man, Mox is in trouble, boys. He is in deep trouble. Yes, he is. What a comeback by Jeff Hardy. Wow. Jeff Hardy on the top. Swan top oh. bomb! And he crashed and burned there. Hardy overcommitted. And now Moxley looking to take advantage. That, that gave Moxley the opening he needed. He's got that choke in tight, got the legs in also. And Moxley, he changed, knows how he changed his grip, and you can see Jeff Hardy fading by the moment. The arm trapped the arm with the legs. Great execution there, and that's it. John Moxley puts Jeff Hardy to sleep. Winner of this match, John Moxley. And he got rocked in that match, Moxley, but what a battle by the ever resilient, tough Jeff Hardy against super tough John Moxley. That was a great opening match, guys. And John Moxley, I mean, yeah, he got rocked. He's trying to clear the cobwebs, but you want to play by Mox rules, you're going to get dinged whether you're the opponent or you're John Moxley. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. He's feeling good right now. Yeah, it's a pretty even split between this crowd in New Orleans, between the support for John Moxley and Jeff Hardy, but by the end of the match, the fans knew that we are rocking and rolling here tonight on oh, yeah. Dynamite and just getting started. Yeah, no doubt about that, Shivani. We are rocking. Yeah, a lot of respect, I think, for both men. Of course, fans have respect for both of them, like you said, that caliber. I know we do as announcers. Sure. And... In consecutive weeks out of Jeff Hardy. Wow. Really taking these, <laughs> these losses to heart. And I like it, man. Well, you know wow. what? It, it's, a, it's an attitude, but I didn't, I think we sh shocked everybody. You know, in a weird way, Mox might respect that. I know Mox, and he probably does. Wow, I did not expect that out of Jeff Hardy, but yeah. I think it was great in my opinion. Well, John Moxley, I mean, he said that he is here to fight anyone that wants to step up to him and look at moxley ahead of the match this saturday at collision that's your sarah the man on the left side of your screen will be going whoa, 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 whoa. what the hell's going on here oh, easy jump, here what jump on the barricade hey, what the hell is this there are four guys for the lucha dogs from cmll oh, and we know that the black wolf combat club's not here tonight and look at this Baldor Jr. Mystic Go. That's a Cero. And BCC not here. Mox is on her own. What the hell is this about? And Mascara Dorada just a four on one beatdown. Right. The security staff trying to come in to restore some order. But yeah, these guys from CMLL not supposed to compete tonight. No, they're just here as guests. As right. The, as dignitaries. Oh. They'll be in action this Friday on Rampage. But. I don't know why. Right. I mean, Mo Mox did disrespect oh, these guys. Look at this, the locker room yeah. is clearing out. Got, I mean, I, I, I can see why this, they're upset, but still, I mean, I feel like a guy just rushed the match, but the, he did disrespect them once he went over that guard rail and hit them. And I mean, you know, John Moxley, he's been a standard bearer for AEW. And, and, and I mean, the locker room, like him or not, I mean, you've got to respect what Moxley's done here in all these wrestling. Absolutely, so we'll, you've got to stand together as a unit here, as, a, yeah. as an AEW unit. I, I think that's what they're doing. They're standing as a unit. They, they, they respect Moxley with no BCC here tonight. What a moment here. Oh, we need to get security in here to keep these men separated. We've got so much more dynamite to come. Hangman, Leona, next.